Protrek Plus Pendleton. Now this is a cool watch. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the Casio Protrek PRG601 PE5 Pendleton Outdoors watch. And you can immediately see that band is the distinctive Pendleton. It's actually the X4 pattern and it's a cloth band and the watch is just terrific. I really like it. Let's go straight to a close up so you can just see. It's a beautiful watch with so many tiny and subtle details. Very cool. Now, it has a mineral glass and it's a gray ion plated bezel. And as I said, it's using the Pendleton X4 cloth band. So it's actually a big watch. It's comfortable, easy to put on and keep on your wrist. And it is one of those sort of old school watches where you have the holes punched and there we go. And you can see it's just really, it's nice, it's comfortable, and it has a ton of functions because it's built on that ProTrek outdoor watch body. So it has and the details, the Pendleton details, it, the, probably most notably is that mountain shaped complication hand on the upper left. I'm gonna give you a close up and show you some of the features and functions, but let me just list some of them. So it uses the ProTrack triple sensor, which gives you direction and temperature and altitude and barometric pressure. It also features five alarms and a stopwatch and a timer and 29 time zones plus UTC. Now, I had this whole conversation with my daughter the other day where it's like, how many hours are in a day? then how can there be more than 24 time zones? That's something for you to think about, but they support essentially 30 time zones. So it's 29 plus universal time coordinated, and you can have your primary time, your secondary time zone, and you can switch between the two pretty darn easily. So if you need to be constantly working with someone in the Ukraine or in Beijing or something, you could easily look or push a button and switch your watch to their time zone, which is really helpful. Now, it's accurate to within 15 seconds a month, so every once in a blue moon, you might have to adjust it back a minute or so. I would say probably maybe every six months or so, if that, if you even notice. It is also water resistant to 328 feet, so you can wear it swimming, you can wear it scuba diving or skin diving. It's not a diving watch, but it will survive that experience, so you don't have to worry if someone says, hey, shove, and you're in the pool. <laughs> you can actually be upset about your wallet getting ruined, but your watch is gonna be fine. It's also solar powered. And I love these solar powered watches because basically, as long as you don't have it covered by a sleeve or something all the time, then if it gets even just a little bit of sunlight, it's gonna be good to go forever. So this is like a post-apocalyptic watch, right? When you're in the middle of the wilderness trying to avoid all the zombies, you've got your altitude, you've got your compass, you can check barometric pressure to see if there's a storm coming. It's water resistant if you have to like, you know, go and be in the middle of a rainstorm and you'll never have to worry about power. Now, food and avoiding those zombies, that's another thing. That's probably a little beyond what ProTrack offers. <laughs> but seriously, such a cool watch. In fact, let's switch to some close-ups and let me walk you through some features. You can see on the lower display that I have day and date being displayed. And the main function button is on the lower left. So if I push that, we can step through different modes. There's temperature and recall, stopwatch and timer and alarm. And here I am back at day and date. And to get altitude, I'm not sure why, they have that as a different button. And then that shows my current altitude. And then from here, I can push the top right button and it will actually figure out compass heading. So it shows that that direction is southeast and the second hand points to true north. And then I believe I push that a second time and I get back to regular time. Nope, I think I have to maybe go here. And those are the primary functions and you can see that 
the band and such. It's just a beautiful watch design and a really attractive face. Now, let me jump back on camera. In addition to all of those features and the watch itself and that great watch band, the box is actually pretty cool. I have to say, when I got this and I opened it up, I was just really blown away. I mean, they've just taken so much design cue from the Pendleton patterns and such, and it's really cool. And not only is it cool, I mean, look at that inside pattern. It's such a pretty box, but there's this really cool drawstring pouch. This is a Pendleton EcoWise wool flannel pouch. Now, honestly, I don't really have my watch in a pouch because I have it on my wrist, and if I'm not wearing it, I have it safely stored. But if you are gonna travel with it and you wanna make sure it's safe, it's mighty easy to slap, slip it into this pouch. And now you know that it's totally safe and you can have it even in your bag with all your computer gear and it's not gonna get damaged, it's gonna just be safe. And it is a pretty interesting material, probably a little far afield for the watch itself, but there's that. And then let me just show you underneath here, is the typical Casio book. I mean, look at that, that's a lot of information. This is how to do everything with your watch. And they also have an online version that you can check out before you even buy your watch. And I have a link to that in the description, but this is kind of must read because you need to figure out how to do things like initially calibrate your altitude and then choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit and what time zone and what world time you want to work with and all of that. It's all detailed in this book. And there's also a little warranty and there's a second warranty. In fact, I guess one of them is a warranty and this one is what to do if your watch stops. And that's basically put it in the sun and let it sit for a day. <laughs> and the battery will just soak up all the energy from the sun and you'll be good to go. So really that's everything I have to share with this watch. I have, as you probably know, if you've checked out my previous reviews, I have gone through and reviewed a lot of Casio and a lot of ProTrek watches, and I just love the brand. I think they do a fantastic job. I think their watches are really cool, and all of them are now secondary to this one because this is not only absolutely jam-packed full of useful features, and it's not a smartwatch. I like that it's not paired with my phone and it's not telling me about emails I'm getting. I just want my watch to do watch things and to be able to unplug occasionally like if I'm on a hike. So it is a featureful watch, but it's also absolutely gorgeous. And I will tell you wearing this, I have had people come up and I have received compliments from people saying, wow, that's really beautiful. And they really like the watch. And the more you look at the face, and all the subtle details, and some of them you can't even see unless you're in direct sunlight and you're at just the right angle to reflect off an etching line or something. It's just beautifully done. It's a really beautiful watch. I am obviously a huge fan. If you want me to say anything negative, then you got the wrong guy and the wrong watch. This is just a great addition to the ProTrack lineup, which means we should talk about the price. So this is the Casio ProTrek PRG601 PE5, and it is the Pendleton Outdoors watch, and it's $400 at Casio.com with free shipping. So it is a little spendy on the ProTrek line, but with all of these features and with this absolutely stunning design, it is a great addition to any watch collectors or anyone's lineup of watches because it's just, you don't have to be a cowboy and you don't have to be living out in rural Montana to appreciate the design, but if you do, you will. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got. I'm putting this back on my wrist and I think I'm going to hit a 14er today, as us Coloradans say. So there we go. Back on my wrist. All right, just about, there we go. Back on my wrist. All ready to go, which means I'll have to catch you in my next video.